one slit will never dim. The better your practice, the brighter the flame. A warm and cheerful morning to one and all. Today's special assembly is conducted by Navnidhi House on account of International Yoga Day. You all know that the whole world is going through COVID-19 pandemic and almost every country has imposed lockdown in certain form. Yoga help us to explore new ideas to earn money without going outside and spend time. Now, today's thought by my friend Jia. Good morning. On International Day of Yoga, I would like to share a thought with you. So, the thought is yoga is a journey of the self to the self through the self. I would like to repeat my thought. Yoga is the journey of the self to the self through the self. Thank you. Now, my friend Prince is enlightening you on the importance of yoga. Yoga adds years in your life and life in your ears. Well said by BKS Ayan Nagar, the famous yoga practitioner. Greetings to all, this is Prince Sani and today I will be throwing up some light on the International Yoga Day. The International Yoga Day is celebrated on 21st of June every year. It was first observed in the year 2015. The Prime Minister of India, Sri Narendra Modi ji, proposed in the UN General Assembly to celebrate this occasion. Yoga is an ancient and spiritual activity and discipline, which helps in achieving physical, mental and spiritual health. It includes various postures, mantras, chants and meditation. It also includes various exercises including breathing and cardio exercises which benefits us a lot. It connects us to the spiritual world and provides calm and peace to our mind, body and soul. It helps in relieving stress of daily life and protects our body from the diseases. It also checks that our body is functioning uh, nicely or is there any illness present in us. Thank you and happy International Yoga Day to all of you. This is Padmasana. It increases the focus of mind and concentration. It improves the digestion. It strengthens the hip, knee and thigh muscles. It helps in reducing the lower body fat. The Nokasan or the boat pose strengthens the abdominal muscles. It strengthens the muscles of arm, thighs and shoulders. It improves the health of all organs in the abdomen, especially the liver, pancreas and kidney. The Bhujang Asana or the Cobra Pose having the benefits like it strengthens your abdominals and it also improves your digestive system. Shavasana which is a posture of resting the body at the end to let the body to go to a deep meditative rest which helps in relieving the stress levels from the body. The practice of this posture at the end helps in reduction of blood pressure and anxiety too. The Adho Mukha Shavasana tones your core, it strengthens your bones, works the back of your legs and improves the blood flow to the brain and your upper body. Veer Bhadrasan or the warrior pose, it helps in strengthening our shoulders, arms, legs, ankles and back. Shirshasan or the headstand have many benefits like it calms the mind. <laughs>